These are the requirements for Youth Phase 1, white, yellow, and orange. We're going to start off with their boxing requirements. They have to do the boss rootin uh, boxing combinations, and so we'll demonstrate those now. So if you would like to grab either the gloves or the uh, focus mitts. Now, we are doing a 50% off sale on the focus mitts and the other pads, okay? or you can use your hands, or, or you can even use a pillow for some of these techniques as well. So the first one is gonna be combo one. Combo one is with done with the front hand, it goes out and straight back to the face. Make sure that your child is keeping this right hand up when they throw the jab, ready? One, one. Notice how Sensei, uh, Sensei is holding the, the, this hand up so she's punching across, Sensei, Sensei's holding there and Senpai Gabby's punching across. Okay, combo two is gonna be the jab and the right straight, ready? Two. Notice once again, her hands are by her face. Senpai Gabby's bringing her hands back to her face. Also notice that when she fires the right straight, her back heel is gonna come up. Two, back heel comes up, you're on the ball of the foot, rotating the shoulders. Combo three has a left hook inserted, so combo three looks like this. Three, jab, right straight, left hook. Notice that Senpai Gabby has her elbow up, thumb on top, and she's rotating her front foot now. Ready? Combo three. Now combo four, you're just gonna add another right straight. Four. And then she returns back to position. Next combo the students are gonna do is combo, or they're gonna do the, what's called the three hooks. The three hooks, you're gonna load and start with the left. Notice that, that uh, since a Riley is also holding with the hand so you can see how that's done. Okay, so left hook, right hook, left hook. So she loads, left, right, and left. So now, do it smooth, so you're gonna load, left, right, left. Go ahead. Three hooks, bang, bang. Each punch sets up the next one. And on this one, really uh, make sure that they're rotating their feet when they do the hooks. After that, we're gonna do the right straight to the body. Now, right straight to the body, you can hold a pillow there or a shield, the shields are on sale too, or you can just tough it out and take it in the abdominal, or just use a pillow, right? So, right straight to the body, looks like this, she's gonna sink down and throw the right straight. Make sure that they're, if they're gonna punch low, they need to be low. Again, ready? And right straight to the body. Right straight to the body. Good. Next combo, go ahead and grab that. Next combo is gonna be the right uppercut. Now with the right uppercut, you want them to bend their knees, rotate as they drive, and the hand's gonna rotate here, and they're firing. Make sure that they're not dipping the hand. We're doing boxing, not bowling. Ready? Right uppercut. Nice, right uppercut. Next one's gonna be the liver shot. So I would like for you guys to switch sides. Switch. So the liver shot is an upper diagonal hook to the body, right? Upper diagonal hook. Liver's located on the right side of the body. Notice how Sensei Riley's holding the pad. The right hand is here, the left hand is behind it, okay? You may not wanna put this on your body. If, if your child hits really hard, you might get the wind knocked out of you. So we hold it out here. So what Senpai Gabby's gonna do is she's gonna load, She's gonna fire upper diagonal hook to the pads, reset, and then come back to her, back to her original fighting stance. Ready? Liver shot. Boom, and right back. Liver shot. Good. Now, we can also combine, and they will be combining combinations, so I'm gonna call out some random combinations so you can see how this works. Ready? One, four, three hooks, right uppercut. Right straight to the body, left hook. Jab and a left hook. Oh, there you go, let's do that again. Jab and a left hook. Jab, left hook. Notice how when she does that, she's reloading the shoulder. Let's show that again. Jab and a left hook, just like that. Now if I say double right straight, she's gonna reload the shoulder every time. Notice how uh, Senpai Gabby brought her shoulder back. And those are the basic combinations that they're gonna have to do for this month. Next, we're gonna cover their two self-defenses. The first self-defense is gonna be the side headlock where the person is trying to punch you in the face. So let's move this way just a little bit. There you go. Senpai Gabby's gonna step in front. She's gonna grab over his neck. She's gonna get her grip. Right away, he grabs with a thumbless grip on this wrist and he locks his elbow to his body. When she attempts to punch, he's gonna insert the hand, thumbless grip, and she tries to bring the arm forward, she can't because his arm is in the way and it's hooked over like this through and around the body. Next thing he's gonna do is he's gonna step in close and look up towards the ceiling, keeping that arm against the chest, right? 
Now, keeping his hip up against Senpai Gabby's hip, he's gonna take a step back with his right leg. This next part, this part right here is super important because if he doesn't have the hip against her hip and they're strong, they might be able to pull you back down. Then what he's gonna do is he's gonna duck underneath and he's gonna apply a shoulder lock. Tap. And she says tap when it hurts. Now let's show this from this side. When he ducks underneath, this is when his thumb, as he's ducking underneath, his, his thumb will wrap around when you do the shoulder lock, make sure it's not up against the back, make sure it's away from the back, and then we drive it up tap. until they say tap. All right, so this last self-defense is the arm bar from the mount. Now you can do this with your child. We're also gonna show you a way to utilize a bag or maybe a bunch of pillows to practice this. So Senpai Gabby's on the bottom, she starts to panic and she bench presses Sensei Riley up. Sensei Riley's gonna wrap the arm, okay? He's, uh, let's do the other side because they're only doing this on one side this month. So he's gonna wrap the right arm. Notice how his hands are on top. And then what he's gonna do is he's gonna transfer his body weight to her and shift. When he shifts, he's going into what's called ESMA. Notice that he's bringing his foot in close over here. His other foot should be out. I'll bring it out a little bit more, there you go. And that's his kickstand to make sure that he doesn't fall backwards. Next thing he's gonna do is he's gonna lean towards her hips as he traps that arm. Then he's gonna bring his leg around nice and controlled. And he's gonna sit as close to her shoulder as he can. Try to keep your foot on the ground if you can. He's gonna yank that arm up straight, squeeze his knees together really tight, and he's gonna slowly lay back. Now, you notice how Senpai Gabby tapped on him. That's the signal for let go. And we don't wait for pain. We wait for just a little bit of Tension, when it starts to stiffen up, you just go ahead and tap out. And that is the arm bar. Next, we're gonna do that arm bar as a drill on a heavy bag, although you could use pillows or whatever um, to, for, their, for your child to practice the drill. They could even use it uh, on a shield if you guys wanna purchase a, a shield for 50% off. So he's gonna come forward, both hands on top. He's gonna shift his weight just like he did before. Notice the back leg's out like a kickstand. He's gonna lean towards the back, drop down, and cross over and he lifts the hip is the last thing. And he can just kick his legs down and he could repeat the drill again. So up, rotate, lean, leg comes around, and there's his arm bar. These are the requirements for phase two and three for this month. Uh, first, they have to do the seven elbows of Krav Maga. So from their self-defense stance, elbow number one is to the front, hitting with this part. Elbow number two is to the side, Elbow number three is behind. So the first three elbows are on the same plane. Elbow four is to the solar plexus. Elbow five, I move my leg out of the way, bring it straight up underneath the chin as if somebody were behind me. Elbow six is to the front. Notice that I'm twisting the upper body as I do it. Before I do elbow number seven, I'm gonna fire a knee, bring this around in a circle and drop the elbow. Their target for that would be the shoulder blade. So if you watch this from the side now, elbow one to the front, Elbow two to the side, notice I'm stepping up for that. I go back to my stance. Elbow three is behind. Four is to the sole plexus, stays in nice and tight. Elbow five, move my foot out of the way, lift it up underneath. Elbow six is to the front, twisting the body. Clinch knee, and elbow seven. They also have to be able to perform this with a partner. When they perform this with a partner, they're gonna turn as they do it. So elbow one to the front, elbow two, to the side, elbow three is behind, four, five, six, right to the chin. The only time they'll grab is when they put their partner in a clinch. Left hand underneath, right hand around the neck, elbow down. My hand is here, my elbow's down here, and of course keep it close to the body. I fire the knee, then I drop the elbow on the nearest shoulder blade. These are the kickboxing requirements for phase two and three, and they, they're gonna be doing elbow strikes. Now, the drill they'll have to do looks like this. He's in his fighting stance. Their first one's gonna be an upward elbow, so up, side, down, and then spin. Now, let's break that down. So the upward, with the pad, I'm bringing my arm down like a slap, and he's hitting it up. Then it comes straight in for the side elbow. Then I come underneath, for the downward elbow. For the spinning elbow, he's gonna step his foot over. I'm bringing the opposite pad in so he can fire it, okay? So let's do it smoothly again. Ready, up, side, down, 
and spin. Bang. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we got up, side, down. Now the spin on this one, he's going to take a step forward, pass me, and then fire the elbow. So let's do that side again. Ready? Up, side, down, and spin. And notice that I'm bringing these pads in close because the elbows are close quarter tools. All right, next, the students have to be able to put these elbows in with combinations. So we'll start off with just the up, side, down. So I call it random combos, and then they fire the elbow with the opposite side, right? One and side. One and down. One and up. Okay. Two and up. Notice that was on the opposite side. Three and side. Okay. Four and down. Oh, my fault. Four and down. Bang, 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 and down. Okay, now the spins are only done on combo one and a step through combo two. So if I say one and spin, it looks like it's one spin. It's the same pad that holds on that one. Do it again. One spin. Now if I say two spin, he's going to step through with his right switch. So two, he steps through and then fires it. Two and spin. And it's that same pad that hits on that one. So three hooks and up. Bang, 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 up. Okay. Liver shot, left hook, side. Liver shot, left hook, side. And so they have to be able to put these elbows into their boxing combinations smooth. So the next requirement for phase two and three is the Kimura submission. Notice that Senpai Gabby has her hands on Sensei Riley's abdominals. What Sensei Riley's going to do is clear it off and put her palms on the floor, grabbing both wrists. Notice how he extended his arms out, on, especially on the side he's going to go to. He's going to put the opposite foot on the ground. So in this case, it was his left foot, which means he's going to be going to the opposite side here. He's going to let go with the left hand, and he's going to sit up using the other leg for leverage. Notice his hips are off the ground, and he's looking behind him, and then he establishes Kimura grip. As he goes back down to his back, he's going to make sure that he bends that elbow to a 90-degree angle. Then he's going to start to shift to his side. Notice when he shifts, he's taking care of his partner. He's not wrenching on the shoulder as he does his shift. He's on his side, he reclasps his guard, and he wants to show me what's on his back. And what he's gonna do is as he pushes, he's on his side, and of course she taps. Make sure that they're going slow when they perform this. And that's the Kimura. All right, the next requirement for phase two and three is the hip bump sweep off the Kimura. Sometimes this is called a Kimura sweep. He's gonna clear the hands off as if he's going for the Kimura. As he picks his side, he starts to come up. Senpai Gabby links her hands taking the Kimura away from him. Now what he's going to do is he's going to block her elbow. Notice his foot's on the ground. He's going to block her elbow on the opposite side. Okay. Then he's going to come up, hips up off the mat, and all the way up to his foot, all the way up to his hand, I mean. So all the way up to his hand. Notice how his foot slid down. Now his hip is up against her. He's up on one hand. He's going to bump his hip, pushing with his opposite leg. Go. Okay. And sit by Gabby falls over. Now, right away, as she's going over, she should bring her arms in and put her hands by her face. Okay, let's do that smooth, please. Okay. It clears it off, comes up. Oh, she linked her hands. He blocks, brings it down, pops her over anyway, and airplane arms. Notice how sent by Gabby, she's training too. She brought her hands in close by her face. Good.